Hey guys, you are on Variant24.com and today we are going to assemble Xiaomi Pad 6 with 11 inch display. Since we don't have a car tray, we will go straight to the heating the surface of the display. We will heat it to a temperature of about 75 Celsius degree or 170 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we will use a heating mat. We strongly do not recommend using a hair dryer for this disassembly. And in general, we do not recommend disassembling this model by yourself and at home. Since the display is extremely thin, it is really difficult to disassemble. And it is also really hard to heat the display evenly. You need to have special equipment. So we recommend to go to repair workshops to assemble this model. And after heating the display, we can proceed to its detachment. To remove the display, we will use a plastic film. It is a protective film from a new display or a film from the stationary store. We insert it into the gap between the housing and the display and run it along the length detaching the display. We additionally use plastic tools to prevent the display from sticking back on. So this disassembly takes about 30 minutes, so we have to be careful and attentive at every step of disassembly. And this disassembly is quite complicated too. At this moment, the specialist look it under the display to determine where the cables pass and be in this place especially careful not to damage the cables with the tools and of course to open the display from the right side. And after 5 or 7 minutes of detaching the display, we can try to open it. Carefully open the display, hold it and get ready to unscrew the screws. We unscrew the screws that secure the display connectors. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 o Ok, we remove the bracket and disconnect the connectors with a non-metal tool. Ok, we have disconnected the connectors and we can carefully remove the display. Ok, this is our display. Well, we move on to unscrewing the screws, removing the brackets and disconnecting the battery connectors. In this model, it seems that two batteries are joined together and therefore two connectors. We disconnect the second battery connector. And we can unscrew the screws on the right that hold the speakers and the charging port. Carefully remove all the screws. Pay attention to the picture on the right, so the specialist placed the screws and small parts on a special surface and in certain order. This makes it much easier to reassemble. And we continue unscrewing the screws with a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. As we can see, on one of the screws is a warranty sticker. Ok, we proceed to detach the small cover that holds the charging port. Now we disconnect the interboard cable connector. And we can detach the first speaker. Gently 
hook it at the edge and leave the speaker out. Remove the second speaker in the same way. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws on the left side. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5mm Phillips. Well, we also play the screws in a certain order on a special surface, so as not to confuse anything. There are a lot of screws and small parts too. Ok, pay attention at this point, the specialist cannot detach the cover. The thing is that there is one more screw under the brown strip and to remove the cover it must also be unscrewed. And we see another warranty sticker, under it there is a screw that we need to unscrew. Ok, let's move on to detaching the cover that hides the rear camera. The cover also secures the motherboard. And we can detach the next speaker, gently pry up the edge and remove the speaker. Then we need to unglue the connector pad and detach the last speaker. And we can remove the rear camera. Next, we have to unscrew the screws on the motherboard that hold the motherboard and the small frame. We disconnect the interboard cable connector. Remove the small frame, then disconnect the front camera connector. We'll remove the front camera later. We disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable and release the cable itself from the clips, fixing it on the motherboard. And we can try to remove the motherboard. We make sure that nothing is in our way. And we remove the motherboard. So we are going back to the core. We find a screw under the brown gasket and check that there are no more screws and unscrew the screw with a Phillips screwdriver. As we can see, the cover is easily removed. Under the cover, we have a small antenna board with a coaxial cable. Now we need to detach the front camera. We need to carefully hook the bottom of the camera and lift it off. But we are hindered by the adhesive, so we need to do everything carefully and not to damage the camera cable.
Finally, we move on to detaching the small board with a charging port. Carefully lift it by the edge and try to pull out the board. The small board is slightly recessed and inserted into the screw bases. The charging port and other elements are located on the board and one of the microphones is located on the cable. So that is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new video. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.